Good morning, it's Pietrus Vivius from St. Lucia Estuary, Ingwe Beach. A little bit of a wrong time to uh, fish this morning. Look at the terrible sidewash. That little young man is pulling hard onto something. It's going to be a hell of a sidewash on this time of the day. I won't call it fishable. Maybe a little bit north there will be gullies. Or maybe the gully down at the estuary mouth, a little bit more south, would be fishable. But I won't call this fishable. A little bit more north towards Mopelan Bay. A little bit more of a flat beach, long distance to cast, you won't get behind the shore dump. But all in all, a nice day to be on the beach. I won't say this is the first time I see a dung beetle on the beach, but for those of you that hasn't seen one yet, there's a dung beetle on the beach. The poor guy is battling to get out of the... Oh, no, he's not. He walked all that distance where he couldn't get out to this place where he could get out. How the hell did you know that? Check this out. He couldn't get back here where he came down. This is exactly where he came down. This is poor. He couldn't get back up all this whole ridge here. He walked all along the ridge until he turned right and he got out there. Isn't that incredible? Now he's battling against the fence here. But he's returning all the way to the beginning of the fence. He's not going the distance where the long fence is. He's coming the way here, where the fence, the short fence stops. Look at how he turns away from that obstruction. Incredible. The little beach area here at Sugarloaf Campsite. You can see there's no water in sight. The water table fell dramatically, dramatically. So yeah, people are gonna tell us again, it's the wind, it's evaporation, but nobody wants to concur that it is the seepage, the percolation, and low tide. We just had a full moon. So the water, the low tide is very low. Just going to add today's tide onto this little clip so that you can see what the tidal movement is. I think it's from 2 point something meters to... 300 or 400 or maybe 600 millimeters and the suction energy that creates it sucks all the water out of the estuary through a thing that I can best explain is percolation this is the little beach at the sandbags water level has receded dramatically Yeah, at Eden Park we found a red diker. It looks like if she's pregnant again, and there's last year's baby. And here we've got two pied wagtails running around. Where's the other one gone to?
You had a wagtail. What did they eat, Wayne? What does wagtails eat? Many insectivorous. So they eat a little cocoa. I've seen one eat a fish. There's tiny fish on the coast in the Mandarin Poti. It's got a hurt leg. A few years ago in Durban, there was one of these birds, wherever this one's white, it was red. It's a Russian bird and it must have stowed away on one of the ships and caused a big stir to all the birding people. Here on the way to Honeymoon Bend, I spotted some Egyptian geese here in the shadows by Wayne. The Mexican claims he can spot anything move in the bush. I'm starting to believe him. Birding with Berno. Berno Philipson is one of the most sought after birding birders and bird guides here in St. Lucia Estuary is Mangaliso Wetland Park. You can book him through St. Lucia Tours and Charters as per telephone.